Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of 2 raised to 5x dx. So we can actually apply here the formula. Integral of a raised to u du equal to a raised to u over ln a plus c where a is any constant greater than 0. But before we can apply this formula in the given integral, we must apply first u substitution. So we can let u be equal to 5x first, get a derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du, derivative of 5x that's just 5, then don't forget the dx. So we have created this dx term on the integral. We just got extra coefficient of 5, so we get rid of that by div dividing both sides by 5. So we will have du over 5 equal to dx. Substituting in the original integral, we will have the base 2 raised to 5x, which is equal to u. And this dx is equal now to du over 5. So this of uh, 5 in the denominator, it's a constant of 1 fifth. So I can just put it in front of the integral. I will have 1 fifth times the integral of 2u du. So we can now apply this formula to evaluate the integral of 2u du. So we will have 1 fifth times the integral of 2u du is. So the constant a here is 2. So we follow this formula. We have a raised to u. So 2 raised to u over ln a which is 2 plus c. And then, don't forget, we need to transform back the u in terms of the original variable, which is 5x. So we will have 1 fifth times 2 raised to 5x over ln 2 plus c. Or we can also write this as 2 raised to 5x over 5 ln 2 plus c. For number 2, we have the integral of 5 raised to ln of cosine x times tangent x dx. So let's use u substitution first. So we can let u be equal to the exponent of the base 5, which is ln of cosine x. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of ln cos x, that will be 1 over cosine x. Then by chain rule, we still need to get the derivative of the cosine. Derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we need to multiply negative sine x, then dx. So we can apply the trigonometric identity for negative sine x over cosine x. The sine x over cosine x, that's equal to tangent x dx. Therefore, we have created this tan x dx term on the original integral, but we created an extra coefficient of negative in the tan x dx which we don't need. So I can get rid of that by dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by negative 1. So I just divide both sides by negative 1. So I will have negative du equal to tan x dx. So let's now substitute. We will have the integral of the base 5 raised to ln cos x, which is now equal to u, and then this tan x dx is equal to negative du. So this negative is a coefficient of negative 1, which is a constant. I can just put in front of the integral first. So I will have negative integral of 5 raised to u du. So applying the formula for the integral of a raised to u du, it's equal to negative 5 raised to u, over ln 5 plus c. And we just need to transform back the u in terms of the original substitution, which is ln cosine x. So we will have negative 5 raised to ln of cosine x over ln 5 plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of 7 raised to sine squared x times sine 2x dx. So applying u substitution first, I can let u be equal to the exponent of 7, which is this sine squared x. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du. 
derivative of sine squared x. So, we will apply power rule first. So, bring down the 2. Let's copy the base sine x. Raise to 2 minus 1 or simply 1. So, we just have 2 sine x. Then times, by chain rule, we still need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, the sine x. The derivative of sine x is cosine x, then dx. So, we can apply double angle identity for sine for 2 sine x cos x. So, we will have du is equal to simply sine 2x dx. So, therefore, we have created this term sine 2x dx on the original integral which is now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have the integral of the base 7 raised to sine squared x which is u and then the sine 2x dx is now equal to du. Evaluating the integral of 7 raised to u du, it's equal to 7 raised to u over ln 7 plus c. Then finally, we just transform back the u in terms of sine squared x. So the final answer will be 7 raised to sine squared x over ln 7 plus c. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.